mind should be opening up and we are going to do nothing but mine today. At least that will be all that's in this video. There you go. Let's check them out.
it should turn off by the next instance, hopefully. I believe that's how it's going. I realize this is totally inefficient. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it being totally inefficient. Because to be honest, this is an inefficient game. And if you're taking the efficiency too seriously, you're definitely losing the game. Blip, blap, blap, blip, 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 blip. And one more. Oh. Scroll blap. Say, it did turn off. That's good. Okie dokie. Very cool. I'm just going to go ahead and attack everybody. Okay, I was wondering. So we definitely want to get them up on a wall and then just clickety-clack on them until they expire. Let's go ahead and knock these out. Very nice. Oh, ow, you suck. Sweetheart, but you're going. Blip, 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 blip. Yup. You're toasted. You are absolutely toastedoed. So, back to what I was saying about efficiency. Efficiency in a game like this, if you're speedrunning it, if you're playing it, you know, a thousand times. Sure, you want to, you know, be as efficient as humanly possible. You want to make sure that, you know, you plant the crops that give you the best return. You want to make sure that you get certain things by certain times. Because you learned about all that stuff already. You went through the hard knocks. And you figured out, oh, hey, you know, this is good, but for me, that is not the way to go, because I have not learned any of those things. I have not played this game as an interesting, fun diversion. For me, if I were to be efficient, it would essentially mean go in, do you know, go into the wiki, open up a hundred thousand spreadsheets, and make sure that, you know, we're doing all of these different things at a certain time to maximize our yields and our friendship markers. And to be honest, that just seems boring to me. Just seems annoying. I don't want anything to do with it. It's fine if that's what you want to do. And to be honest, that is my inclination. My instinct is to go into those things and to do the super crazy 
extra special, you know, go overboard version of this. But I don't want to do that. If I can, I would like to play this game as blindly as possible. Even though I have, fortunately or unfortunately, already learned more, significantly more, than I would have otherwise. That, I don't think that's horrible. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it is something that I'm not really in love with. Bug me. Interesting. Blip, blip. God, I don't know why I keep getting lucky with these, but seriously, I'm getting like really lucky with the placement of these things. crazy lucky. And one more. Forgot about you. You. And then... Blip. Blip. Small glow ring. Okie dokie. And then this hat. What do we think? Hat versus radioactive goggles. What do you think? This is that I kind of think the uh yeah I'm kind of thinking glasses versus hat that's just me that is just me but you know what I'm the one playing it so I guess I get to make that decision don't I Also, update on some people ask me to play Manor Lords. I think I will play it, but I will be honest. I have started, I've downloaded it and started it like four times, three or four times.
because I see everybody's playing it, and I'm like, all right, well, generally speaking, everybody's not wrong. Sometimes some people are wrong, but rarely is everybody wrong. Ow. Rarely is everybody wrong. It happens, but it's rare. It does happen, but it is rare. And we're going to eat it again. So, I go back to it. I go back to Manor Lords, and I reinstall it. This time, I have read a guide. So I said, okay, now I know what to do. I know a couple of things to go for. I know where things are. And hey, you know what? That's pretty good. That should be enough for me to reasonably play the game, right? Except, except when I get in, nope, still have no idea what I'm doing, still feel like a complete moron, and I uninstall it again, delete it, nope, no more, not doing it. So then, I still see more videos, more Manor Lords tutorials. Hey, come on, look at this, it's such a cool game. Such a cool game, get in there. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. This time, I watch a video. After I watch the video, I go, oh, okay. This is how you're supposed to play. This is why people are saying, you know, the game is very fun and soothing. You've got to, you know, build roads, and then your plots go to your houses and things. They snap to the roads. And that is the thing that makes them good. Now to me, I understand that it's an early access game, but seriously, like the amount of annoyance that generates in me is, well, I guess pretty minor, but it's still there, you know? More than it needs to be. Caving. I like it. Let's 
are going to essentially just mine the good stuff at this point. Blip. Yeah. We might turn on max drop rate. I'm curious to see what the bugs will give us at max drop rate. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ah, we can't do it. I'm going to turn on this. I want to kill this guy. Blip, 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 blip. Cherry bomb and earth crystal. Interesting. Very cool. I'm a fan. These are apparently giving us, I would imagine, the best bang for our buck in terms of experience and other stuff. Blip. I am just going to be stupid and mine this big boy. Yeah. And you. Splurt. And splurt again. So now we get to mine. other 
stuff too. And then I want to turn on.
great so far. Blip. And then blippity bloop. Okay. Is that the strat? That's the strat. There it is. That's the strat. We got it. Easy. Easy strat. Easy.
way too long. Should have been able to knock that guy out a couple of hits before that, but I didn't. Splurt. Hang on. Splat. Splat. No. There it is. We got him. We got to him. So, Manor Lords tomorrow, and I might, you know, a lot of this depends on the amount of traction certain videos get. Like, obviously, my Minecraft stuff has been, so far, the best stuff in this sort of era of doing a lot of video games. So, certainly, I can't ignore that.